What did you mean by quote unquote no? <laughs> no was my, my recollection of no. And let me just say that there's been a lot written about this text. And what I can tell you, Congressman, is in no way does that suggest that I did or even considered taking any action to. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Agent Strzok, before we get to what you didn't mean by quote unquote no, how about we settle on what you did mean by it, and then we can discuss the entire universe of what you didn't mean by it. <laughs> Now, the precise question was, Trump's not ever going to become president, right? And then if you miss that, quote unquote, right, she put again, quote unquote, right, with a question mark. And the next word from you is, quote unquote, no. So what did you think the question was? I thought that question was her personal question as to whether or not he would become president. Mm. My answer was my personal belief that I did not think he would be. Well, then why did you say, quote, no, he's not, unquote? Why didn't you say, quote, no, I don't think he's going to. No, I don't think he'll win the Electoral College. No, I don't think he'll do well in Ohio, unquote. Why did you say, quote, no, he's not, unquote? Sir, because my recollection of that text, which I don't recall specifically writing, uh, is, I, I, it, are, you is denying, are you denying writing it? Oh, I'm not, I'm not denying writing it at all. Okay, quote, no, no, he's not, unquote, he's not. What? Go, going to be my, my belief that he is not going to be okay. president. Okay. Well, stop it. <clears throat> Who's, quote, unquote, we? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> sir, my recollection is looking at that time when then-candidate Trump had just come off of a speech where he was insulting the immigrant family of a fallen military war hero, uh, I found it unbelievable the American people. So the quote-unquote we was you and the Khan family. Sir, no, if I, if I is, finish, is that your testimony? <laughs> you, you and the Khan family, that's who quote-unquote we Congressman, was. Congressman, if you want testimony from a witness, you're going to need to let him answer the question. Sir, my response to that was coming off of a speech when then-candidate Trump was insulting the family, the immigrant family of a fallen war hero. It was so unbelievable to me that the American people, that I, that anybody given those sort of sentiments and statements, would elect him to the presidency. That was my personal belief. Okay, okay, well that, that helps, Agent Strzok. By quote unquote we, you meant the United States. Is that what you meant? Honestly, I don't know that I had any specific- Well, who wrote it? Well, my, my sense Who was wrote it? The United States and the American people would not- Who wrote it? Who not... wrote the quote unquote I wrote it. it. I wrote it, okay. Congressman. Okay, And it really is not that complicated of a question. It's not. All right. So we are less than 10 days into an investigation that you are at a minimum a major participant in and perhaps running yourself. And you are talking about stopping the presidency of the person that you were supposed to be dispassionately and objectively investigating. I, I can. Well, what, what's the question, sir? <laughs> Is that true? Is what true? <laughs> I'm asking you to rephrase. The whole predicate. We are, we are less than, we are eight days into an investigation that you either ran or were a major participant in, and you're supposed to be dispassionately and objectively looking at the facts. And you have already declared that you were going to stop the presidency of the Republican nominee. No, sir, that is, that is not what I've said. What I have said is my personal belief that the American people, I, I did not believe, would elect the president. That is fundamentally different from what you just said and suggested. Well, we'll let the reader decide how fundamentally different that is, Agent Strzok. So, <clears throat> you were recruited for the mid-year exam investigation, the investigation into Hillary Clinton's use of a personal server for State Department emails. 
Did they solicit applications? How did you come to be on the team? My understanding is that Assistant Director Coleman asked for me and a team to come over, but, but that is that's secondhand information. I, I don't know that Mr. Coleman ever told me. I, I don't know that I know exactly how it came to be that I was selected and directed to come to headquarters. Now, you left the Mueller investigation team at some point in time. Give me the circumstances about why. Sure. Um, I participated in the first briefing for Bob Mueller upon sort of giving him an overview of, like, here's what we've got. And at the end of the briefing, he went to Mr. McCabe, who at the time was acting director, and said, who is that woman? And he said, that's Lisa, she works for me. And he said, I want her on the team. And Andy said, okay. And so he came to me and said, Bob wants you to join the team. And I said, I don't want to. And he said, well, you don't say no to Bob Mueller. Okay, okay, okay. So the point I'm trying to get at, the text messages had not become public. No, 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 to, uh, 30 seconds, I, I, I'm going to get there. You bet. I was very hesitant to join the Mueller team because I had already worked two incredibly demanding years with Andy and I wanted a life back. And I wanted to parent and be at home and be around. And so, I went to Bob Mueller to talk to him about it. And so as a compromise, I offered a 45-day detail, and so I joined his team for 45 days to sort of help them stand up with the understanding that he wanted me, he wanted me full-time. He, you know, uh, thought I had something to add. But at the end of the 45 days, I just, you know, d uh, despite, you know, it being an impressive crew that he had assembled, just wanted a life back. <sighs> Jesus, you should read this and Trump should go F himself. God, that's a great article. And thanks for sharing. And F Trump. Maybe you're meant to stay where you are because you're meant to protect the country from that menace. Thanks. Of course, I'll try to approach it that way. I can protect our country at many levels. <laughs> Was told the board went the way Bill wanted, but still needs the director's blessing. Yay. Come down to my office for lunch. I'm going to blow your mind. <laughs> All right. Ah. I want to switch over to March of 2016. It's a text from you to Special Agent Peter Strzok. Mm. I'm sorry, what's the date, sir? March 3rd, 2016. Okay. Quote, God, Trump is a loathsome human, unquote. Yeah, I see that. What did you mean by that? <laughs> I don't recall. <laughs> Well, what does the word, quote, unquote, loathsome mean? I have absolutely no idea what particular thing was uttered that I was responding to, but this is the one where uh, I'll say that 
you know, um, in which the, you know, genitalia size is discussed. No, it's flipped to May of 2017. This is actually a text from Special Agent Struck to you. Quote, and we need to open the case we have been waiting on while Andy is acting, unquote. Who is Andy? Andy is Andy McCabe. And this is what, a day after Director Comey has been fired? That's correct. What is the case that you could not open when Jim Comey was the director, but you might be able to open since Andy is acting? You're misreading the text, sir. May I consult with counsel? There may be instruction on whether or not she can discuss this case. Mm. Okay, thank, thank you, sir. I've been instructed by FBI counsel that what I can say is the decision to open the case was not about who was occupying the director's position. <laughs> All right, we'll try it again. This is from Special Agent Struck to you, quote, and we need to open the case we've been waiting on while Andy is acting, unquote. You, I think, if I understood your answer correctly, you've been authorized by the Bureau to tell us that the case was not contingent upon who the director of the FBI was? That is correct. Which you would have to have a lot of creativity to be able to read that text and reach that conclusion. I should really take off the whole damn day. So go ahead. I'd obviously love to have you at the director brief, but if not, I'll stop by and give you an in-person debrief. <laughs> Good Lord. Talk about an unexpected and unpleasant blast from the past. Just went to a Southern Virginia Walmart. I could smell the Trump support. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. It's scary real down here. Vomit. Vomit. Vomit, vomit, vomit. I will not read about Snowden tonight. Seriously, don't read the article. But Jesus, V-O-M-I-T. And while I hate it, I kind of want to walk over to the old post office and see what they've done with it. <laughs> want to go with me? The new Trump Hotel? No. Funny quote from my cousin-in-law. No way Trump will drop out. Hey, Republicans, how does it feel to carry something to term? Well, on November the 3rd, you did text, quote, Jill Stein and Gary Johnson are F asteriking everything up to, end quote. Does F asteriking mean fucking? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what did you mean by that? <laughs> My sense was, again, from a personal perspective, looking at the race, the presidential race, that a variety of actors were causing debates and shifts and movement in a way that was causing core messaging or just general sentiment to be moved and shifted. Well, whose chances did you think Stein and Johnson were hurting, Clinton's or Trump's? I believe Clinton's. Well, I can almost take from reading this text that you wanted her to win. Congressman, like many agents, I have, I had certainly strong held political opinions that are personal. There have been presidents that I've liked that have been elected, and there have been presidents that I didn't particularly care for that were elected. So it's fair to say you are a Clinton supporter? Congressman, I, I think that's clear from the reading of the text, certainly that I was not a Trump fan. Well, just to be on the safe side, we'll get you to say it anyway, even if it is clear from the reading of the text. <laughs> you are a Clinton supporter? Sir, my personal perspective <laughs> was that I supported Hillary Clinton, Secretary Hillary, Clin Hillary Clinton, ahead of then-candidate Trump. And when did you decide to start supporting her? Did you support her in the primary? No. I, I know you... Again, 
This makes me uncomfortable that the legislative branch is inquiring about the personal views of an executive. Well, your text.